Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube station. It's your girl, Mickey Day. So, <laughs> Mickey Day. So today I will be showing you guys how to make your lace look like your skin. <laughs> okay, I don't know what, how to describe it, but basically I'll be showing you how to make your lace blend in with your skin without actually bleaching it by just using two types of foundation and i'll be showing you how i cut my hair into a bob so if you want to see how that is done keep watching wonderfully made you're simple and sweet don't change the way you are you look so beautiful wonderfully made you're simple and sweet don't change the way you are don't change the way you are so I then cut my lace up. Be careful when you do this when cutting your lace. Um, I do. I can suggest if you're cutting it really close to the hair, you can do it off of your head. If not, I'm guessing you could just make like dots and lines to where you wanna cut it off. Um, I basically cut it while it was on my head and I did make an error at some point this is where I kind of went wrong I went too much into the lace and I did cut off part of the um, frontal hairs and yeah okay so now we go in with the foundation and the magic working of the foundation Use whatever foundation goes for you and whatever concealer you use. So for this part, you take the big brush and you put the darker foundation, the foundation that you would probably use for your face, um, and just put it all over the lace. You don't have to put like the whole lace. You could just put it on the front part of the lace that is visible to you and everybody else and yeah you just brush make sure you brush it well it shouldn't just be sitting there on the top let it blend and make sure it's even on all parts and then i'm going in with a lighter foundation which i mostly use as concealer for my under eye to put it on the parting so to make it easier you just put your finger under the parting like so and as you can see you can see the color of my finger so you put it on and just rub it gently gently <laughs> yeah and then you go in um, over it with the big brush to help it blend nicely because this brush mostly is just for application yeah so i also put it on the sides of the parting so it can blend well I then go over with a leftover foundation that's on the brush 
and just apply it on the top oh, I did get a tiny bit for the front so yeah just go over the top don't put too much because your wig might take foundation carry foundation <laughs> so yeah So yeah, I remember going with the big brush as well. So after this, I tried my wig on for fitting and to see how well the foundation sucked. I tried the wig on to see how well it could fit on my head if I needed to make adjustments, but it wasn't perfect. And bump spot. <laughs> As you can see, when I pack my closure, I over well, I didn't over pack it. I just look to the side and boom, bolt spot. So pay a lot of attention when you're packing your closure. And I overcome this wig. So I used some purple eyeshadow to cover the bolt spot so that it does not look like my hair came out. Don't put it too much, just you know, gently do it, and boom, it's almost gone. Okay, so this is what the wig looks like on me with the foundation and what, 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 what. Um, you can add baby hairs as well if you like. I didn't do this wig yet. So I straightened the hair before I it's fucking dogs straightened the hair before I cut it because as you can see the bottom part it was just going many 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 different directions. So I kind of straightened it like flat downwards. I think I don't know how to straighten for shit. So yeah, I did my best. Yeah. So uh, this part I cut my wig. I didn't. I started off like maybe two, three inches from where I initially wanted it. To to be or how should i wanted it to be so that if i made any areas i could go in and change that so yeah enjoy the kidding of the hero So I tried to bump the ends after chop chop chopping the wig and again as I said I'm shit at straightening and anything that involves straightening so yeah did my lips a little bit so I don't look like a crackhead and this was the end look of my wig slash makeup yes I know my parting was bent allow it yeah. and these are both uh, my favorite snacks to have during quarantine and i matched it with my makeup alright guys thanks for watching my youtube channel please like and subscribe for more videos turn the notification bell on yeah
Wonderfully made, you are simple and sweet. Don't change where you are. Don't change. Don't change.